Camille Jablonski versus Tobias Sparong was a super close match and nearly a very controversial match. In the very first round, we see a lot of shenanigans, a lot of difficulty from Camille trying to get to the straps, and Tobias is obviously trying to prevent this. If Camille gets to the straps, pretty much everyone knew this off the go, that as soon as he gets to the straps and gets that flop press in, the match is probably going to be over, so Tobias is trying his best to prevent this. But once the match does go to straps, it is super one-sided it is Camille all day long he just has way too much power in that shoulder committed lane now in the second ready go this time outside of straps Tobias switches things up a little bit and he decides to do kind of a no load really quick twitchy go and it really catches Camille off guard and Camille is unable to even get engaged into the match before he gets flash pinned outside of straps it looked like he just got totally caught off guard in this moment and Tobias was able to get that pin before Camille initiated any power power into the match and he was unable to get into his lane. The score is now 1 to 1 and because of that, Camille gets a little bit more antsy and he begins to false start quite a bit and in this third round he ends up false starting so many times that he fouls out of the rounds so now it's 2 to 1 in favor of Tobias. Once again in the fourth round, quite a bit of messing around in the setup, but Camille is able to eventually get the flop press in and this time Tobias decides to hold on to Camille and he doesn't want that match to go to straps, um, but he holds on to him all the way to the pad and Camille ends up getting the win in this lane. And in the fifth and final round, the score is now 2-2. Two to two. This was super close and both pullers nearly fouled out multiple times, but in the end Camille is able to finally get to straps and once that ready go happens in the straps, it looks super super dominant for Camille. I don't think that anyone in this weight class is going to have a good chance trying to do a traditional top roll against Camille. I think you have to have some sort of other answer. Either you're going to have to match his shoulder commitment and go inside or have some crazy wrist flexion to block his pronation and totally supinate him and block his flop press in that way. But Tobias was not able to do any of these things in this match. This was just a near impossible style match for him. Congrats to Tobias for making this match a lot closer closer than it could have been, but in the end, Camille did end up taking this one and displaying his power, and I'm excited to see who he's going to go up against next.